I am Reverend Marjorie Linton, Minister of Religion, author, spiritual advisor, and motivational speaker with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today, where I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and lift your vision higher. Good afternoon. You have what it takes is the healing thought today. You are a child of God made in the image and likeness of God, your essence is of God. Therefore, you have what it takes, my friends. Do not trust the carnal mind which tells you otherwise. Romans 8 verse 7 says, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Amen. The carnal mind is what we all call the devil. It is your own adverse thoughts which do not serve you. It gives you every reason not to believe in your divine potential but you have the power to stop it in its tracks. You have what it takes to deny the carnal mind and affirm all the good you desire, health of mind and body and prosperity in affairs. Nothing is impossible with God and nothing is impossible with you because you are made in God's image and likeness. You have what it takes to create your reality. If you can think it, you can be it. The sky is the limit for you. Even when the storms of life assail you, you have what it takes to still the storm. When temptations come and you don't know where to turn, you have what it takes, my friends, to rise above adversity. Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. The power that worketh in us is the Christ presence, my friends. You have the privilege to use it at will. Do not allow the power within you to fall asleep. For it to bear fruit, you must activate it. Whenever you seem to fail, it is always because Jesus appears not to be around. But Jesus is always around. But only when you dwell on him. In Matthew chapter 8, when the disciples experienced the storm on the boat, although Jesus was around because they were not conscious of his presence, it appeared as if he was asleep. When in fear they called out to him to save them, he responded in Matthew 8, 26. Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? The thing is, my friends, Jesus is never asleep. He is always on call. All it takes is an awareness of his presence. When Lazarus died, Jesus was not around to prevent his death. But he told Martha in John 11 verse 40, Didn't I tell you if you believe you would see the glory of God? 
We were made equipped to deny the forces of negation, my friends, the forces which so often tempt us, fear, doubt, and anxiety. Jesus says in John 14, verse 12, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Amen. We experience Christ consciousness, my friends, when we stay connected to the true source. Jesus says in John 15, verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Amen. When we recognize and acknowledge this truth, we can access divine powers that assure us of peace of mind, health of body, love that includes a service and a plenty in affairs. In Matthew 16, when Simon the disciple told Jesus he was the Christ, Jesus was impressed. He then changed Simon's name to Peter, which symbolizes rock. Blessed are you, Simon Peter. This could only be revealed to you by my Father which is in heaven. Your faith is what is needed to build my church so that it will stand firm despite the storms of life, Jesus said. Jesus then rewarded Peter with the keys to the kingdom. Amen. We all have the power of discernment within us, my friends, and we have what it takes to do whatever we desire. But we must be connected like Peter. We can all create our world of good by applying the principles of truth. And we will receive power from on high. Amen. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But he shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem, and in Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. We can all access the keys to the kingdom of health, wealth, goodness, and peace in all aspects of life, my friends. When we function in tune with divine mind, our minds are opened to discern the truth and our hearts opened to receive the abundance of God's kingdom. Divine ideas are our divine heritage. They are always available and unlimited. Open up to the flow of divine life, my friends. Trust the process and Create your own reality. There is no limit to God and there is no limit to us, his children. There is a vast world of opportunities awaiting us all. Just be conscious of who you are and your divine purpose and exercise your divine potential. You have what it takes, my friends, to create your world of good. Amen. And now, let's look at some points for contemplation. God is the only presence and the only power in your life and in the world. We are made in the image and likeness of God. 
Nothing is impossible with God, and nothing is impossible for us being His children. If you can think it, you can be it. The sky is the limit for you. We can all access the keys to the kingdom of health, wealth, goodness, and peace in all aspects of life. Even when the storms of life assail, we have what it takes to overcome. Our essence is of God. We are inherently good. When we function in tune with Divine Mind, we express qualities of Divine Love, peace, compassion, joy, and we make wise choices. We experience God through conscious awareness or through prayer and meditation. Divine ideals are our divine heritage. They are always available and unlimited. When our minds are in tune with divine mind, our minds are opened to discern the truth and our hearts opened to receive the abundance of the kingdom of God. There is no limit to God and there is no limit to us, his children. Amen. And now please join me for the call to action. I invite you, dear friends, to clear your mind of all unwanted thoughts and focus your attention on the one presence and one power, God, the good, omnipotent. Let the presence of God fill you and use you. In the silence of your soul, now experience the power of God's love. Support your healing by nurturing, accepting positive attitudes. All things are possible with God when you work with God. You are in control of your mind, beloved friends, and you always have a choice to create your life based on your perception and your belief. Whatever you believe will be your experience. Just remind yourself every moment that the power of God within you is mighty to heal, prosper, and bless any condition or circumstances in your life. In the quietness of this moment, open yourself to receive the abundance of the universe and give thanks that through the power and the presence of the Christ Spirit within you, you have what it takes to demonstrate your world of good. Amen. It was such a blessing sharing healing thoughts with you today, my friends. Please join me again next week, Friday, at the same time for another in the series, Healing Thoughts Today. God bless you. Please subscribe.